I'm Nancy Birkhalter, I'm a designer, um, studied design more than 20 years ago with a focus on um, interface and service design and uh, since then have built uh, various design and innovation teams, um, helped to build up Fjord and then um, IXDS the last uh, 10 years. Um, and uh, since we uh, sold the company last year to um, PwC, I'm now leading PwC's uh, experience consulting team in Germany and we have four studios um, and I'm also globally leading um, all efforts at PwC um, around sustainable innovation and that's really um, at the core of my heart. Um, I'm believing in we as designers and innovators need to focus on sustainability and um, hence I'm really happy to um, join this jury with this specific focus. I love the people um, that are engaged in the UX Design Awards. I think it's some of the most um, inspiring and leading individuals that um, uh, sit in the jury and that discuss uh, what's the what's the future um, important topics in UX design. And um, in previous years, um, the awards have really been um, have 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 shown the importance of your UX design in many different areas in our industries and society. And from my perspective, UX design some years ago was really uh, something for designers and uh, something designers have discussed in their circles. But over the years, it's been it's uh, it has become so important um, beyond um, just uh, our profession. So it's really been the differentiating factor in everything that we do when we when we talk about what is really making the difference in terms of products and services that um, companies launch and um, it's it's really a success factor for many um, companies to focus on UX and experience to um, progress their organizations. When I talk about UX, it's actually much broader than just um, the, the single experience of a single product or service. I believe we need to think broader, we need to think more systemically and we need to think more from a planetary perspective on what do we need to change and what do we want to achieve with what we're designing. So what is the intended behavior that we want to empower? Um, for much bigger consequences. What do we achieve in terms of systemic change and how do we actually design products and services that are relevant and sustainable and that make our world uh, better. So I really intend to solve bigger problems than just designing uh, one specific good product but I really want to design solutions that solve the really important problems in this world and I think UX has actually a big contribution to that. So we need to, as UX designers, think a lot more broadly than we have in the past and um, also think about, um, for example, um, uh, ethical aspects. So I think UX designers are actually very influential in designing ethics into all the products that they are designing and I would like all UX designers and all of us to consider that when we are designing, even though our clients or whomever we are designing for might not specifically ask for that, I think it's in our hands to design those products and those experiences that do make the world a little bit better. That's my big approach to UX design. Rights is a um, service, a very good example of what I think is um, sustainable innovation, um, which is um, what my passion is all about. Um, and what they do is they they have reinvented the um, the company car basically. So uh, previously, um, companies have uh, have given their employees company cars if they wanted to incentivize them and rights has solved the problem um, um, that there wasn't any alternative for um, corporates on how to incentivize their employees in terms of mobility solutions. So what they've done is they've pooled all the different mobility solutions into a mobility allowance and are providing the service and make it really simple and that's where UX comes in, make it really simple for, uh, simple for companies to um, offer that um, to their employees and at the same time for their employees to choose between different mobility solutions at any point in time. Uh, to, to use 
since the mobility allowance they've received, um, either for bike rides or for public transport or um, for renting cars or for whatever is most suitable to them. And I think we need these solutions um, that go much beyond a single user experience, but really look systemically at why hasn't it been possible before for corporates to offer um, and incentivize more sustainable behavior from their employees. And I think solutions like this really help to, um, to increase the, the recognition and, and actually empower their employees to live more sustainable. Mm -hmm.